I've played Guild Wars 2 for over 20,000 hours, and I've learned a whole lot and collected just about everything in the game, so it's a perfect time to go round again. Join me in the adventures of my completely fresh account known only as the Microtransaction Enjoyer on the quest of obtaining and unlocking everything in the game, from legendary gear and mounts to living world story episodes, maps, and ultimate gem store quality of life, purely through efficient and somewhat sensible gameplay. No real money required. Okay, um, so yesterday we actually started this quest to get an Ascended Amulet from Bureau Marches. Basically, we have to uh, do this roleplay thing here. This bear is very hungry. If you don't feed the bear, the bear is actually going to become so hungry it will consume the flesh of other sentient beings, becoming a bone skinner. Uh, so we have to prevent that from happening. Actually, very cool bit of RP, very cool bit of lore here in Bureau March. It's honestly a great map. You know, it's one of those things that you think, wow, the Ice Brood Saga did get of a bad, bit of a bad reputation, actually, for somewhat obvious reasons. But there's actually some really good stuff in there, some cool lore, some cool RP. So let's kind of get started on that. The collection that we're looking for is The Hunger. We even get a mastery point at the end of it, and we just have to collect a variety of ingredients to feed to the bear to get access to uh, a vendor, basically. The bear becomes a vendor after we're done with this, and we can buy as many ascended amulets as we want, which is kind of fun. We can trade them in. I believe you need some eternal ice shards, but fortunately, we have about a zillion of those from doing strike missions, so we're good to go. Let's roll. Uh, so number one is we have to get a blood orange, and I, I look... I'm going to kind of uh, YOLO this. I don't really know what to do, but I actually do remember where you get the blood orange. You get the blood orange from this Norn. Wow. I wonder if we're going to have enough shards for this, actually. That's 150 shards. But there we go. We now have an imported blood orange for the bear. Here we go. Boom. Done. And there's a bit of a, you know, a bit of a backtrack situation. Now we're going to have to run over there now again. Let's get to it. And we're going to crank up the dialogue here, actually. I'm glad we've got the dialogue on because there's some cool role-playing. Okay, here, a blood orange. Ooh. So sweet. Ooh. So cold. Ooh. If only the others could taste it. There were three of us. Envoys from Let's enjoy the RP. Speaking, sent to ask the vigil for aid. Yes. The is still here. Oh, we need a rabbit. So weak. I need meat. Meat. I need strength. Catch a rabbit. Bring it to me. Okay. You got yourself a deal. Rat. That's not a rabbit. I think the rabbits are kind of at the start of the zone. I don't think they're around, they're not, I think they're around here. This is not a rabbit-themed area. Let's get over here. It is time to hunt a rabbit. Here is the rabbit. Boom! That was easy. I felt a little bit bad about doing that. <laughs> but, I mean, we gotta do what we gotta do. Oh, yeah, it even gives us little tips. Yeah. Seek the Norn, who knows how to obtain foreign goods. Search the past where the planes are open. You know, in a lot of ways, I I wish that the game highlighted collections more. And, uh, you know, I am going to do Aurora on this count, by the way, at some point. And Aurora, to me, was fascinating because it really opened up a totally different way of playing Guild Wars 2. Right? It, it surprised me a lot. I was kind of dreading it for a while. Everyone in my chat was always telling me how horrible I'd find it. But I actually really enjoyed it. It was much more of... It's, it's basically like a quest, right? A quest from a normal MMO. And I really like that. It's a very curated experience where you have some storytelling stuff, some exploration stuff. I actually really liked it. I think the game... You know, remarkably enough, I think the game does quests rather well, actually. Uh, with the way the world is, with all the voice dialogue and so on. All of the platforming stuff, the exploration stuff. I actually think that Guild Wars 2 does quests rather well. It's just they aren't highlighted very often. There's a lot of pretty cool stuff like this in the game, but it's just buried in a thousand... <laughs> I mean, look at this. Look at what happens if you open all of the achievement tabs, right? Like... <laughs> what is this? What is going on? <laughs> How are you supposed to make sense of this? Right, honestly, I can't make sense of this, and I've played the game for a long time. But yeah, the, it, look, you'll have to take my word for it. Buried within this achievement panel, there's some actual pretty cool stuff. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let's go. Have some rabbit meat. Let's go. Wild. Afraid. hunted. One of my companions fell to hunters. She ruled this place in death. Starving. Tasca. I need bigger. A deer, a full deer. 
find one for me. <laughs> okay, an entire deer. This is a bit, oh, this is a bit troll, because now we're going to have to pull all the way back here again. I guess I should be using my portal scroll, because now I can save on the one silver. Here we go. Look, it's a deer. Wow. This is a very challenging quest. This is maybe not the best example of the, uh, the heights of quest design in Guild Wars 2, I suppose. We're just teleporting back and forth, attacking innocent, defenseless wildlife. But, you know, it's, it's you know, I'm immersed right now. I'm fully immersed in the game. It's a very, very fast collection, though, because at the end of this, again, we can just get our Ascended item for free. Of course, amulet's not the hardest thing in the universe to get, of course, uh, but this is stat selectable, so it's kind of any amulet you, we want. And we're going to have a zillion of these currencies anyway, right, because we have, um, we're going we're gonna to be doing strike missions so much that eternal ice shards are absolutely fine. Ooh. We even get some free gold, look at that. Nice. Three gold? Nice. He's different now. Ooh. It's growing. I need something strong. A bear. Hunt a bear for me. No, oh, it hurts. Ooh. Ooh. All right, let's go. So where do we actually find these? I actually don't know where those are. Um, they roam where the spirit is on it. Oh, okay. In that case, we have to just go to the one of the shrines. Uh, let's see. It must be over here then, right? Because I think this is where... Uh, wait, is this where, where they are? Uh, I'm actually not entirely sure where that is. Ah, the ah, the bear shrine. There we go. Yeah, that's it. Because it says here, right? It says, hunt a bear for me, right? And here is the bear shrine. Therefore, it must be over here. We have done logic, my friends. We have a massive intellect. Okay, let's hunt down this bear. Yeah, and this is where things get a little bit weird. Ah, here's one. Yeah, this is it. This is like the... I thought it was like a dog, but actually, no, it's a bear. I guess the Morellos are the bears. Are the dogs. Let's go. It mauls foes. Sorry, buddy. I'm going to have to feed you to um, a bear. Code and eating other bears. Things getting a little bit weird. It's getting a little bit weird now. You know, I'm not going to judge, though. Bear flank. Tough and wild. Yeah. All right, here we go. Have the bear meat. <laughs> Should you be eating bear meat? That's a good question. Okay, I think we can just find one of these, these aberrant worlds, and they're just like around here, right? Ah, here we go, there's one, I think. That'll do it! See that one? We got way less of a fetch quest now. I feel like I'm back in classic WoW, you know? <laughs> oh. That didn't count? Maybe I have to kill more than one. Maybe it's not 100% drop rate. Here's another- oh, there's a bunch of them over here, actually. Let's take them out. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Hopefully we'll get the drop here. Now we really are back in classic WoW. Sometimes the Aberrant Warg doesn't drop any meat. It can happen. You've got to watch out for that. <laughs> Maybe it has to be a champion one, or like a high level one or something. Oh no, there we go, we got it. Easy. Here you go. Got the aberrant warg meat. Are you sure? Hmm. Oh. Wow. Okay. Oh dear. He's been edging. Nice. That's good. It's now time to kill the bone skinner. It's time. It's time. We might have to wait for the event, though. I think it is pretty much infinite, though. Ah, yeah, here we go. It is up. Check that out. Perfect timing. You love to see it. It's a very short quest, as you can see, particularly if you know how to, where to go. And it's not exactly difficult to figure it out. You don't have to look it up on the wiki or anything. You can just see, you just read the little hints. Read the little hints. A lot of collections do this. Not all of them, but some of them do. Some of them give you little hints. You know, the, 
There are some collections that don't give you hints at all. And you know what? Sometimes the hints are actually troll as well. But, uh, you know, like, look, just pretend that they aren't. It's good. Up there. You know what I mean? What? Ooh. What is that? What is that? Some say it follows Jormag. Yeah. It stalks this forest God. now. All right, here we go. Nice. Daily Bureau Marches Mining. And here we go. The Bone Skinner will now spawn. Ooh, that was a pretty good day. Look at that. That's value. That is value. I like it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. We have to... Oh, yeah. We have to actually spawn it now, don't we? We've got to kill a bunch of these mobs. Let's go. I guess we could help with this... Ch There's a champion over there we can help them kill, maybe. Let's go. Destroy the mobs. Here we go! How are you going to get the charge cores and stats? What, you're sending this early? Oh, I'm not. Um, I'm just going to get it with strike missions. I'm just going to get stats selectable. I'm not going to craft. Uh, I don't really want to craft. And now we kill the Bone Skinner! Listen to that music. You know, this fight... Let me tell you something. One of the most underwhelming things I've ever encountered in the game, no joke. It has a cool mechanic where you got to break its defiance, but otherwise it eats people, uh, which is quite nice. But, oh, I was really hyped for this. Anet were hyping up on their streams, and the fight just does nothing, right? Look at it. It's, it's barely even fighting back. Tragic. Actually tragic. And there you go. It's dead. And there we go. Oh, we get a whole bunch of achievements for that, huh? Look at that. And of course, we now have the Bone Skinner meat. Slightly disturbing, I must say. Okay, here. Yeah, take the Bone Skinner meat. Yes. Oh dear. Yes. It's so sweet. Ooh. Makes me. Oh. The ache is gone. It's finally gone. Mmm. You saved me. It's really gone. I can't hear it. Okay. Just need to rest for a little while. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, that's uh that's something. Yeah. <laughs> the collection is complete. And now look at that. You can now get infinite amulets from this NPC. Here we go. Boom! And that is it. We have an Ascended Amulet. And these things have something pretty cool. And they have an Enrichment slot, which means we can get some bonus to Karma gain, bonus to Magic find, bonus to XP gain, all that sort of thing. Or even World vs. World experience, um, reward tracks. Really cool, actually, to have this in your Ascended Amulet slot. Definitely worth investing into. They're pretty cheap. They usually just cost some laurels, pretty much like a few laurels, like 20 laurels or something like that, and maybe some of the currency associated with the game mode. Very nifty. And there we go. Another Ascended piece has been obtained. And I think we can make this Celestial. We can. There we go. Very good. We now have three Ascended trinkets already locked in. Very good stuff. 